Howdy, y'all. Brett here. And this is Topo Ranger. Today we are in the land of 1,000 bridges. Well, it's actually six. Six bridges. Not a thousand, but a thousand sounds a lot more dramatic, right? <laughs> the six bridges I am talking about are located in between the western shore of the Susquehanna and the capital of Pennsylvania, the wild and wonderful Harrisburg. What we're going to do today, if we can, if we can find a route, is we're going to look at some of these bridges, talk about their history, and also look at some rocks probably, <laughs> right? First one we're going to look at is what we're standing next to right now. And this trail right here goes over the now defunct Cumberland Valley Railroad. So this is the Cumberland Valley Railroad Bridge. It links the western shore, Le Moyne, it's right over here, and Harrisburg. This bridge goes right over the river, about halfway. It hits City Island, what's known now as City Island. It doesn't stop there, it just goes right over it. But it's defunct. I'm gonna take some pictures. I'm not gonna go over it, although I'd like to. There goes the Norfolk Southern right now. And it looks like we got some storm clouds coming in. So uh, let's get this started. Anyway, I'm going to uh, go to the edge where it starts to go over the river, take some pictures, and then we're also going to go in search of what's known as Vanderbilt's Folly, which are some uh, eight stone piers from an abandoned project that involved J.P. Morgan, Cornelius Vanderbilt, and also one of the investor, investors was John D. Rockefeller. All right, here's where the bridge really starts. Off in the distance, you can see city of Harrisburg and what looks to be rainstorms over there. I mean, you can see a, a, gray, a gray misty veil has fallen over the land. This is uh, pretty overgrown here. It gives a really cool effect. So here's this feeder bridge which from the looks of it is uh, very, very much a ruin. Lots of vines. And it connects right up there. There's the tip of City Island. Those white dots you see there, those are boats. Now these things are pretty thick. You can see a couple of the uh, the last two stone piers from Vanderbilt's Folly right there. And there's a ferry you can ride around here. There's the city. There are some storm clouds coming in. So I don't know if I'm gonna get dumped on here. I kinda think I am. I'm just gonna go up here a little bit and then we're gonna come back See if we can get down and I'll show you what got me interested in this spot in the first place which is something I found on Google Earth which is right below us all right it's coming down Trying to get under that bridge. So far. Oh, yeah, okay. Here we are. Right here. I'm gonna do it. 
because it's going to come down hard. And I don't want to be stuck. I don't want to get totally soaked. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I'm currently taking shelter under the Cumberland Valley railroad bridge. Rain's coming down pretty hard and everything is going to be soaking wet. So I don't know what's going to happen. It does look kind of sunny over there. I don't think this rain is going to last all day. So for right now, I'm just going to stay put under this bridge and we'll pick it up on the other side. Well, the rain has not stopped completely, but it has died off significantly enough. I think that we could probably continue, although we're going to get wet. It's all coming through here. This is like some kind of industrial jungle here. Look at this. The leaves are just like glistening. And yet it's just runoff, dirty runoff from the road. You see the water, it's really kind of, kind of skunky. We have this kind of jungle stream here. We're gonna go down. This is the Cumberland Valley Railroad Bridge. God only knows what's washed down here. I've just been taking pictures for the last half an hour, trying to pass the time. Oh man, this is just Phil. Yeah, this is buggy. Ugh. Some frickin' chud type of thing come out of here and, and eat my brains, man. Look at this stream bed. I mean, it's, it's just concrete chunks, aggregate fill, bricks. Now here, this is one of the uh, piers for the feeder bridge. This is the feeder bridge here, and this is the Cumberland Valley. I want to get down to the railroad. Look at this, man, just total. Total urban jungle. Check out this vineage, man, look at that. And you thought I was joking about jungle. I mean, it's literally has vines and stuff. Big ones, twisted ones, look at that. Now you know what would be cool? If you could get this, this twisted braided wood, cut off a big section of that, and then uh, and make something out of it, because it's naturally formed like that. If you have not already, please subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, Follow us on T-O-P-O underscore Ranger. That's T-O-P-O underscore Ranger at Instagram. That's where I post all the pics that go along with the videos of the Explorers. All right, let's see if we can get out of this jungle. Looks like there's a trail it goes up there. I want to get to the tracks. I don't know if we're going to ever make it to Vanderbilt's Folly. But we're sure we're sure having fun trying. I've probably gone about a hundred feet in the last hour. Part of the problem is every you know every fifty feet I got to stop and take pictures because everything that I see looks interesting. Let's see what's up? Ah, oh, Jesus! Okay. Oh, here we go. Got the tracks. There's the Cumberland Valley. There's the feeder. And that's the stream we just came from. There's the last two. 
Vanderbilt's Folly. I think that's the, uh, the current railroad bridge used by Norfolk Southern. We got active trails, so let's be careful. Some interesting graffiti here. I'm thinking maybe this might be a cover shot here. What do you guys think? Okay, we got a trail. Looks like we got some. Some kind of encampment here. Light coming off the vines is kind of cool. Let's take a peek around the corner. Huh. All right, there's Harrisburg. There's the Capitol. That's Market Street Bridge. There are some people walking there. Right beyond that is the uh, the Walnut Street Bridge. The Walnut Street Bridge, the center section of it, was taken out by an ice flow in the blizzard of 1996. And there is a video on YouTube of it being taken out. The middle section falls onto the ice and then it's on top of the ice as the ice goes down river. I remember watching that a long time ago. It's, it's, a, it's an interesting clip. Go check that out. Looks like we got a trail here going down to the river. I'm just going slow because I don't want to jump out at anybody because. Sometimes you find people hanging out down here. As per my story in the return to Fishing Creek episode, there is a trail here. All right, here's the bridge. this is really the best way to go interesting views of Harrisburg though so there are these little recessed pockets one two three four five six seven eight there's eight of them and inside those pockets are uh, stalactites or sorry soda straws and then there's actually stalagmites on the bottom I think I might have to go back up on the tracks Though I'm not sure. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. 